let's start off with the winds. I think the strongest winds this afternoon are likely to be across Northern Ireland and southern parts of Scotland. Average gust values of about 50 to 60 miles an hour, but in some places the winds could be a wee bit stronger than that. And the wet weather, well, there it is showing up on the weather radar. Quite a broad band of heavy rain moving down into the southeast, a narrower one following along behind, and then up to the northwest a fair number of squally showers. And you can see that in between those showers there is a bit of brightness on the satellite picture there. So that's the way it's looking for the afternoon. I think it'll take quite a time for the second band of rain to clear away from the southeast. Elsewhere, brighter skies, but as I say, blustery, squally showers. They may merge at times over Northern Ireland and Scotland to give some longer spells of rain, sleet and snow. There could even be some hail and the odd rumble of thunder. So uh, there's a combination of winds and temperatures, and you see the coldest weather is going to be in the north. 11 Celsius in the southeast at the moment, but this colder air will be coming in behind that second band of rain. There's the first weather front moving southwards. This is the one that will clump the cloud together and the showers together across northern areas through the afternoon. And then on Tuesday, another low racing in from the Atlantic to be followed very quickly by yet another one during Wednesday. Overnight tonight, then, the wind's picking up. Some more rain getting into the southwest. Still a few showers in northern and western areas. Just a small chance of a touch of frost in the well-sheltered parts of Scotland overnight tonight. And then tomorrow, more wet and windy weather spilling up from the southwest. The far north will keep its mixture of sunshine and blustery wintry showers. Perhaps those just edging a little bit further to the south during the day with temperatures tomorrow between 6 and 9 degrees. And then on Wednesday, as one batch of wet and windy weather moves out into the North Sea, another one will be racing in from the southwest. Still those wintry showers up there in the far north. That's it.